Morning legends, it is 8.20 a.m. on Wednesday the 18th of December. I'm here at KAOC. We've got the boys um, having a net session in the background. I've just been getting a little bit of um, stock footage of their training session. Um, great to see them here working hard at their game. First class starts at 6.30 in the morning, so a lot of them would have been here since then. Take practicing their game. Morning, how are you? Fine. Here's my mate, say hello. Hi. Say morning. So big day ahead um, for day three of the coach education workshop. having their toe in the air too much. Yeah. Like obviously Labashane does it, he's there, he's, he's really good, so you can be successful with it. Yeah. But I reckon something that sort of Chris Rogers talks a bit about and I try and work with my players is, when you're there, you step and you almost don't pick your bat up again and you just, what that means is you're, you're almost not using any of your front side, yeah. not using your top side at all, and what can happen is you can just push at the ball yeah. with your bottom hand, you get front on and you just push. So what I try and get my players to do is keep, still keep their hands sort of around their waist, back pocket or whatever, but just try and keep the toe a little bit lower, whether it's down here, or whether it's sort of like that or like that, because what that'll do is, when you then step, you pick up your hands, you, you you engage your front side, and then you can start hitting the ball with more shape and more power. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the, there, you're already cocked and you're already in position. When you step, you, you probably won't pick your hands up again and use your front side, and you end up just going, yeah. So give that a try. Yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then as yeah. you step, as you step, you pick your hands up. It yeah. brings in your front side. And that'll probably play ball a bit later as well. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So go again, go again. Trigger. And then, yeah, that's it, that's it. And then that, go again, let's just go up slower. So go trigger, yep, yep. Step and just throw in your bottom hand up. Yeah. yeah, so do it one more time. Slow, step, slow, go slow. Trigger, and then, so step, so do it. Oh, hands up as you step. It will happen naturally. If you keep your back there, you'll see it now. You see the ball, step, hands up, bang. There you go, I'm using the shape. Yeah? And that'll hopefully stop you from getting yeah. front on and pushing. Because as a batter, we want our back going straight. Our hands follow our hips. So if you get front on, your hands and your back will start to swing across, and then you have to correct your swing path. So trying to stay side on, but keep that back going straight. Yeah. Does all that make sense? Yeah. I think just that simple little keeping it there will just could help you, not will, could help you get the board more power and more control. Any questions? Sweet. Hey vlog, it's 12 o'clock. I'm just sitting in the Coach Education Centre. I'm working on my laptop. I've just edited a vlog. It is now getting uploaded to YouTube um, to get some content out. So I've just taken a moment out of the workshop so I can get some of my own content done. I'm gonna go head back down now that I've finished editing, I'm gonna go head back down and join the group downstairs now. Oh yeah, put you under pressure. Well, that's enough then. to perform a skill fall. What word did I use first of all? What word did I use before I threw the ball? Here's today's lunch. <laughs> Coaches getting a well deserved meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Ross was saying is some of the 
best times when I play cricket with my mates is the soccer warm up or the, the game warm up. It gets highly competitive. We often play olds versus young or top six versus bottom six, and you sort of carry over a score from the week before. And so, exactly what John said, it's not just for the little ankle biters that you guys might be coaching, but right through any, any cricket, any level, any sport. And when I'm coaching athlete one on one, we might be working on sort of game play or whatever, and I might be throwing sets of six, throw six on the sidearm and I bowl six. Sometimes if if I feel they're flat or they're, they're not performing as well, I might say, all right, you've got to score of four balls in an over. You've got to score of four balls, set in the field. If you don't, I get a point. And if you do, you get a point. At the end, the loser has to do 25 push-ups. All of a sudden, the player gets active, gets on it, because there's a bit of competition, there's more gameplay involved. And uh, so it, it, it creates, it energizes me as well. Rather than I'm just going through the motions as a coach, it gives me a tap, right, come on, how can I make bowl the dot ball trim? How can I, and it gets competitive. And I often try and make it so that, I might try and rig it so that it gets really tight and close and there's a bit of pressure at the end. I don't want them to run away with it and do it easily, but me to just smash them. I try and do it, but it builds that sort of understanding of how there's pressure on as a consequence, as a consequence, which is what happens in a game. Whereas in training, there's often no consequence. So the great thing about gameplay is that it can, you can, it forces you to train under a bit of pressure as well. And I met a guy um, recently, a week and a half, maybe a week and a half ago, who's a very experienced coach educator in Australia. Um, he works for New South Wales Cricket at the moment. He said that his biggest thing at the moment, and something he's doing it with a number of teams around Australia, is called Game Sense Training. Game sense, it's what they call it in Australia, game play, it's game sense. And he said that the first grade side that he's working with in Sydney, last season, they scored one century the whole season. It's not even Christmas yet, we're not halfway through the season, apparently this season they've scored seven. Just because all of their training is game sense, at training, Tuesday and Thursday, and then whatever the players do on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they might do drills, they might do other things, but everything at those three or four hours in the evenings, is all game sense and all relevant. It's all com competition, it's all having fun. Um, and so it's, it's just, and that gets the best out of individuals. People can be demotivated, a bit flat, and they get here, but if you sort of challenge them, they'll get up to the, they'll get up to the challenge. And game sense, game play, is a great way to do it. So from, from my point of view, we're obviously gonna go out and do it, and you guys might do it with younger players, but it certainly works all the way through. All the way through, and it, but it brings out the competitiveness in, in athletes and that's what I think brings out the best in them as well. You gotta wait, 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 Riaz. Wait till he gets back to the yellow cone. Go, 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 go. Wait till he gets back, wait till he gets back. There you go. Oh, Didn't make his ground, doesn't count. Didn't make your ground. Get the pass over the line, but over the line. Good catch in here. Lots of concentration. Lots of concentration. Oh, the hurdle's gone early. 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, Watching India, it's all happening. They are. Hey vlog, 
It is 10 to 6 p.m. and I am traveling across Bangalore. It's only about 10 kilometers I gotta go, but it's about a 45 minute journey. Um, I'm back into the cricket mentoring kit, stopped in the hotel quickly to get that on. Going to see um, a guy who is behind smartcricket.com, Bat Sense, which is about um, tracking uh, data off your bat. So I'm really intrigued to see what this is like, what it's about. Um, and finding out more, so who knows what we're going to find out. Very cool. How cool is this office? Little Christmas tree. Lots of memorabilia, helmets, helmets, quality memorabilia. Team cancel a little. Smartcricket.com uh, lab, um, home of Smart Cricket. I've just had a session in this net, this wonderful facility um, with the bat sensor. First time I've come across it, first time I've used it, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the first thing for me as a player is that I want to know is that it doesn't affect how my bat feels, and it certainly doesn't. It is uh, really lightweight, doesn't that doesn't sort of affect the pickup or the weight of the bat at all. So that's a big tick for me. Then. I just I went about my net session, I had a 40 balls and I was just batting as I would normally. And the beauty of it was they had the camera set up and I was able to look on the screen at how efficient my bat swing was and how efficient my contact was. So it's a great piece of data. It's awesome feedback for me as a player, but also when I put my coaching hat on and I'm looking at other players' data, it really is valuable pieces of information. Hey vlog, just on the way back in a taxi to the hotel driver here. Uh, that was awesome, really interesting to get in there and see what those guys are up to, trying to combine data, technology and cricket. So I'm uh, really looking forward to using some, um, the bat smart sense, the smart cricket device uh, on my bat and in my own game and see what it does, see what it says, and then uh, hopefully be able to help young players with their game as well. Um, so yeah, really exciting and uh, look forward to sharing more information with it. Um, with you about it with you guys very soon hey vlog it's 10 to 9 i'm just walking up the road going to meet the other coaches ross and john for dinner and a drink everything seems to uh happen quite late here in india so it's a late dinner normally i wouldn't be eating this late but obviously um i've just got back to the hotel from seeing the guys at uh, smart cricket so that was really successful really looking forward to using the um, bat sensor and hopefully creating a good partnership with those guys. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Lots of action here going on beside me, behind me. Thanks for watching today. Please like, comment, share, get more people watching this, get your teammates, your mates. Hopefully you're getting some value from this and you're enjoying it. So I'll speak to you soon, legends. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you got some value, please subscribe below, hit subscribe to our channel. We, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out our next two videos here below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications, and join the CM community by purchasing some merchandise. Link is in the description below. Thanks, legends. Now go out and get it done.